It's like everything you know and love, you just see it get swept away in a matter of hours. The wind is just shifting continuously. I've gone through several years like this, but not this long and not this dry. So this is the cost of carbon pollution. We may not realize it, but climate change is affecting us, all of us, right now. We're seeing it all over the news, from the bottom of the oceans to the tops of the mountains, and in the faces of victims across the globe. How did we get here? Let's start at the beginning. It's 1824, and French physicist Joseph Fourier uses a vase and some cork to figure out that there's an atmosphere trapping heat and making the Earth habitable. Right about this time, we also hit the Industrial Revolution, the birth of large-scale manufacturing and coal power, and the beginning of the carbon boom. 1896 rolls around, and a couple scientists figure out that CO2 from burning all that oil and coal could affect global temperatures. Their numbers based on these fuel consumption rates showed that we had a few thousand years before we had to worry. So we didn't. Then the 1960s came and things started getting ugly. No, worse. Charles Keeling had captured enough data to determine that carbon levels in the air were directly related to the amount of fossil fuel burned and that levels were going up. In 2010, NASA declared 2000 to 2009 the warmest decade on record. But hey, what does NASA know? One small step for man. Oh yeah, that. And that's sort of the way it's gone. Which brings us to today. Today we live in a world of extreme erratic weather. And here's the kicker. It's costing us big time right now. In 2013, insurance losses from flooding in Central Europe were estimated at $3.9 billion. In Australia, the 2013 Denali fire alone cost roughly $87 million. And these costs don't just end with the massive damage control bills. The effects ripple through our lives, costing us in other ways. Take Hurricane Sandy, for example. The initial damages cost roughly $65 billion. But what about the small business owners that either lost merchandise, customers, or their entire business because of flooding? And it's not just money. Some of us are paying with lives and livelihood. Others are paying in pain, damage, and suffering. In fact, the climate crisis is recognized as one of the world's leading threats to political stability and national security. The point is, we are all paying today for carbon pollution. Every one of us. We're paying in dollars, in lives, in jobs, in lifestyles, and in every way imaginable. This is not a theory. It's not an opinion. This is the cost of carbon.